Hey everyone, welcome back to the GameSpot AU Games Room for another edition of GameSpot AU Plays. Yeah, My name is Randall. Dan, what are you playing this time around? Because you're in control. What is it? This time I'm driving and we've got Ace Combat Assault Horizon, which is the new Ace Combat game. It's a new Ace Combat game, so we're going to take you through a couple of levels, is that right? Yeah, this is joining, uh, it's from the start of the game, but yep. it's just into the tutorial. The, the early okay. part is kind of you know, formulaic, as you'd expect, you know control system century. Yep. Uh, so we've skipped through a little bit of that, we're going to go straight into the last part of the tutorial yep. and then you'll get a look at the next level which is still kind of tutorialish, but yeah. it's the first real level and it's a look at the helicopters as well. Okay, let's get into it now and I'm going to try and minimize the Top Gun right, references yeah. as Imagine much as possible. Don't. No, don't. Okay. So I'm going to start off now with Watch the Canopy Goose. That's going to be the only yep. Top Gun reference. Okay, t t tell us what you're doing here, mate. So this is a tutorial level, the first level. So this is really early. Uh, yeah. The game is a really basic premise. is set in 2015, so the near future. Mm -hmm. This level takes place in Miami. Yep. And uh, we are shooting down some dudes. Okay, th th what's what's the actual setting though? Who, who are the dudes that you're shooting down? Do, do, do you know? This part is going to be revealed through the story. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So we don't want to spoil too much for yeah. you here. But the good part is that uh, this is actually going to be the first Ace Combat that uses real world locations. Well, yeah, you mentioned Miami. I mean, in the past it was Moldova yeah. or some strange <laughs> Earth parallel Which I thing. think was the uh, the place that Vigor was from in, uh, in Ghostbusters. In Ghostbusters. Yeah, I wonder if they asked permission for Bill Murray uh, before, before they I'm, did the previous Ace Combat. But yeah, so um, the, the rough storyline is it's it's they're trying to be a real world conflict now, right? Yes, this okay. is slightly more, it's still very tongue in cheek, yeah. Um, but yeah, okay. it's, it's not based on real world conflict. Yeah. Uh, so this is one of the new things that, uh, so we've still got a little bit of tutorial here. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the new things in Ace Combat um, Assault Horizon is the dogfighting mode. So, so it's like a cinematic over the shoulder um, mode for when using your machine guns, is that right? Uh, not just machine guns, you can still fire all of your, uh, your missiles as well. Okay. Uh, essentially it's an on rails part, so mm -hmm. you're still in control of the, uh, the plane here. Yeah. But uh, you do have, yeah, you don't need to worry about running into, into the earth at the same time. Okay. And essentially the way it works is whenever you are within striking distance, physical range of uh, a machine, machine gun range. Yep. Yeah. You can, well, you can fire a machine gun at any time. Yeah, but yeah. What you can do is tap the, uh, the two bumpers yep. and it will take you into the, so you get the little green circle there that indicates you can go into the mode yep. and then you can waste them with the, the machine gun up close or so, once so you've got a rocket. Yeah. So, so what, are you, what are you actually controlling in that bit? You said it was on rails, right? So, so what are you actually in control of? You can still maintain, you can still move the reticle around, but mm -hmm. the, the, so we'll go, oh, we missed it. Yep. We'll go in mm -hmm. and get this guy. So, oh, oh, and you were just too good with the missiles. Yeah, then, splashed him. Okay. Let's find someone else. All right. When you shoot one down, another takes its place, man. That is deep. That is okay, very so deep. Got okay, missile alert, missile alert. That's bad. Okay, that's we a good guy. Over this way. Okay. Well, what are we trying to find an opponent? How, how does it control? Uh, it's it's a mix between kind of arcade and sim, like mm -hmm. the, the rest of the series. Yeah. It, but it feels really generous. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you won't need to, from the little bit we've played so far, you don't need to worry about taking off and, and landing so much. They're mm -hmm. all fairly automated. Yeah. Um, but the, once you're in the air, it's it's all pretty simple. Uh, yeah. Move around with the left stick. You can check out the things around you with the right stick above mm -hmm. and below, so you can get which mm -hmm. is something Hawks did as well. Yeah. Well, we've got someone coming in. Someone's yeah. behind you. Can you fire the chest? Uh, so this is a. If you slow down yeah. to when you get those arrows on screen and yeah. then hit both bumpers again, like you do for the dogfighting mode, mm -hmm. you can loop back over. Okay. And uh, and you'll come up right behind yeah. your target. So just like Top Gun, you'll fly right yes. past this. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So you're trying to get into um, dogfight mode again here, is that right? Uh, here we go. So we're nice and close. Right. Start shelling this dude. Yeah, so tell me what you're controlling. What are, what are the reticles? So we've still got the uh, the reticle. Oh, one behind. Yeah. Is it? So you can slow down. No, nope, missed it. Uh, you can freely control it, but the, the plane itself has hmm. limited maneuverability. Um, yeah, yeah, in terms of manual control. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's see this guy. Okay. So because it yeah. is early levels, they're not really throwing much chaff out there. Either. No, and uh, this guy here, the target lead, as far as I can tell, is as we go back into dogfighting, works uh, like everything else, kind of like the fodder yeah. uh, uh, planes that you'll you'll mm. come across, but the difference is that you slightly need to change your approach for them. Mm -hmm. So this part, this is the on-rails part where, yeah. so we've got free control here of the reticle. 
Are your guns gonna overheat? Or is there a, oh, there is an overheating thing there. I just saw that. Okay. Um, oh, there's a swear word on screen. Yeah. Just oh, two swear two, words just, on screen. Just ignore that if, oh, if you're at all sensitive about. Okay. What's happening here? And we've been shot. Okay. And so I take it. This is a cinematic right now. This is yeah. not you, Dan. So, no, no. This is this is not controlled by me. Okay. Uh, and this is the outro to the tutorial and the intro to the rest of the game. Okay. And obviously things have gone kind of bad. Mm -hmm. We need to bail out. Yeah. And well, there you go. Did you watch the canopy? Did uh, I, I asked you to watch I, the canopy. <laughs> I did. I was mindful did you of the canopy. It? Yeah. <laughs> and I don't seem to have brained myself, so I think we're okay. Oh, okay, that's cool. And you, had now, a, you, you had a um, you had a. A navigator, though, right? He's dead. Oh, he's Goose is dead? Yeah, he is. Goose is gone. No, Goose was my wingman. No, no, Goose wasn't your wingman. Wasn't Magician your wingman? And anyway, we're going on to Tom's <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'm dangling in the <laughs> air. You don't look very happy about Nobody's it. Nobody's shooting me down, which is, um, oh, which is appreciated. It may be a war, but there are rules to war. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, what Still stuff then? blowing up around me. Uh-oh, here we go. Is there something's, this is not good. Now you're getting... That I Ooh. think that's Markov. The, okay. uh, so the, the Russians were involved. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a potentially a super weapon on the line. Mm -hmm. And this is us waking up. And you know, sweaty, sweaty dude is you? Yeah. Sweaty dude mm -hmm. is you? Okay. Incredibly sweaty. And, you know, yeah. pretty buff for a pilot. Can't. He yeah. is can't. I mean, it takes a lot of, you know, it takes a lot of yeah. arm <laughs> strength to, uh, to maneuver <laughs> a G, apparently. And yeah. one of the cool things is that, uh, at least in this early part, you will yeah. walk through... Uh, cutscene style situations yeah. going through the base, but you do retain the free camera with the right stick, so you okay. can look around. I, I kind of did it light gun style. I kept expecting okay. to see something yeah. down there that would give you a bonus, or uh, you could pick something up, but I haven't, haven't found anything yet. But essentially, they're just interactive cutscenes, then, is that right? Yeah, basically. Okay. All right. Uh, what, I, what I found interesting was there was obviously a, there was a fan in his room, but he didn't. He wasn't. But he was sweaty. He was still all sweaty. Okay, so this is, uh, what is this now? This is like the opening credits? So this is our opening credits okay. and goes on to, uh, there we go, Eastern Africa, which okay. I think will be one of the major settings of the game. Mm -hmm. uh, we are, if we haven't already, we're about to meet up with some Russians. Mm -hmm. um, and in this mission, we're going to be pretty much shelling anything that isn't mm -hmm. on in, in the air. And you are in, uh, obviously, helicopters right now? Yep, so we've got free control, where mm -hmm. the, the gunner over here. Okay. We could probably do something pretty nasty to the All right. the rest of the team, but that's not a great idea. So you're just a gunner and they're actually controlling just the, the helicopter? Just a gunner. The, uh, the, okay. the helicopter itself is all on rails. Mm -hmm. uh, the rest of the game will also include an AC-130 gunship. Okay. Uh, there is, I think, two types of... Uh, oh, I start shooting at things. Mm -hmm. So we're getting rid of some rebels here. Mm -hmm. uh, now this part, I, I had a quick crack at this earlier, just to, mm -hmm. to kind of have a squeeze. And it's not always clear where stuff is coming from. Mm -hmm. uh, on, the, on the ground, because it's obviously a game that's designed from the air, yeah. uh, sometimes it's a little tough to spot exactly what it is you're shooting at. Like these guys are, aren't so bad, yeah. because they're, uh, they're moving targets. But mm -hmm. when you get individuals on rooftops, yeah. Uh, like the RPG guys up here, they can be a little bit tougher. As I say, this is not very. Um, this is not very Ace Combat. This is not Ace Combat. This is not at very all. Ace Combat. I mean, the if the second mission is this. This is more. This seems to be more like a um, you know uh, like a, a a scene from something like Call of Duty. Yeah. Right? Well, they, you they, they've said that they do want to make uh, a more modern warfare style game, especially with the dogfighting system that really puts mm -hmm. you up close and in combat, which is great because you you do. Relinquish a little bit of control with the mm -hmm. uh, the the maneuverability of the uh, yeah. the plane itself, but you get those cinematic moments where you're you're right in on the action rather than just shooting at targets off on the, no, the horizon. No, Dan, this is obviously there's there's still some you know some opening credits rolling over this. Do, do you know if you can actually fail this section? Or uh, is I it? would assume that you yeah. could probably fail it. Yeah, uh, but. Luckily, we are going to shoot these bad boys down. Okay, man. Or we'll have uh, a little support from the team. Look, look what you did. Look what you now that bridge is broken. Smoking hole. Look what you did. They're vaporized. Yeah, that, that's what. How are the cannon going to get across now? There we go. I, I can so say, look, it looks it looks really good. It does. It's mm. looking incredibly good, and uh, mm. I think the the fact that it isn't just a a pilot simulator, you'll get to mm. to uh, to experience other 
um, air combat is mm -hmm. actually really refreshing for the series. I think it's. Uh, yeah. They said that they want to reboot it to make it uh, something a little more fresh yep. uh, than the series has become. Mm -hmm. And I think they've done a good job from what I've played so far. No, no, I know you haven't, you know, played through the entire game, but uh, has, has Namco Bandai given an in indication of what the mix will be between you know the, the, the traditional Ace Combat? Behind the cockpit thing and, and and sort of newer newer gameplay scenes like this. No, there hasn't been a you know a percentage breakdown of uh, mm. what it's going to entail. But my guess would be that it's still going to be pretty jet heavy, just mm. because uh, you know that's the legacy of the franchise. Yeah. And uh, I think if you bought an Ace Combat game and you didn't get to to do a bit of jetting around, then yeah. you might be a little upset about the fact. Yeah. Uh, we've got people shelling us and our team from over here. Okay. So can you lose, do you know if you can lose your team members? Uh, there was a bit of a spoiler, but someone yeah. is shot down at one point. Okay. Uh, well, they were last time I played, so I don't know if that was uh, because I wasn't concentrating or if it's a scripted event. Yeah, um, I'm sure it was a scripted event. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's go with that. I, I didn't leave anyone behind. You, didn't, you, know, you never <laughs> leave anyone behind. I actually did start shooting at him once he was down, <laughs> just to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I put him out of his misery. Yeah, you okay? Oh, there we go. I've only got so, 200 bullets left. I'm going to save 20 for you. Okay, so they were hit. It wasn't. It okay. wasn't me. I don't feel so bad. Now. All right. Okay. Oh, that's it. And there's there's a lot of resistance right here. There is. Okay. There's a van. Okay. Unguarded van. Oh no. All right. So we're down a little bit Black Hawk style. I gotta say, this looks the, the game Black Hawk looks very also, yeah. pilot ball in the game. Okay. Or uh, Black Hawk gunners, maybe. So, so these are real. Real vehicles. Yes, then. they're, they're okay. based on real world vehicles. So it's not like the AC120 no, or, or something. I haven't seen that one yet, but yeah. by, from all accounts, uh, it is actually the um, the official and licensed vehicle. I okay. know they've they've been big on those in the past. Did you just shot your own helicopter again? It <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> was a mercy kill. Okay, so now we got to shoot their helicopter down, which okay, interestingly thing. takes a lot of damage. Yeah. Man, that is taking a lot of bullets. It's an, it's an armored hind. Armored hind. Yeah. Okay. That that took a lot. More surprisingly. Considering that vehicles blow up yeah. with a couple of rounds, yeah. they uh, they can take a bit of a licking. Okay. So uh, so I, I wonder if you will actually get to pilot a helicopter down the track because as I said, this is not this is not Ace Combat to me. I, like when you first told me that you're going to be in a helicopter before we did this, I was like, oh, that's cool. You're actually flying it, but this is yeah, this is an on rail shoot. No, this part's all on rails, and I think the uh, mm -hmm. oh, let's just get rid of these guys as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I think all of the uh, extracurricular vehicles mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. the the AC130 and the um, mm -hmm. the uh, the Black Hawks. I, I I think they're all going to be side mission type stuff. You know, they're, they're a break up to the the jet pace. Yeah. Okay. So we've uh, still got plenty of rebels. They're not short of a use or two. Yeah. We'll and get rid of these guys. Not short of um, RPG as well. No. Yeah. Where are we? I'm not entirely sure what's shooting at me at this point. I think you're. Um, when in doubt, just yeah. waste yeah. it all. You guys got him. Relax, boys. Okay, so we've, we've taken care of them. Mm -hmm. This is our guy. Mm -hmm. Shoot him. That's uh, yeah. it's oh, a good measure. That was actually the, that was, that was their car. No, yeah, just, no what's what's wrong happen? with you? Well, you know. What are your loyalties? I know, look, it's probably scripted. Just, just, just try, try and blow him up. Try and blow him up. That's not him. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you were discharged so dishonorably from the so army. Close. You know, it's a game. What? It's a game. It's a game. No, it's there, there, there are casualties in war. Uh, so, you know, this uh, is a lead up to uh, okay. Trinity, I think it's called. Right. The uh, the new super weapon that mm -hmm. is involved in the story. And we get another flash of the cutscene. And, mm. and we're going to go into the base now. So obviously that was a, a fairly big explosion, right? It um, was. So you should have shot your guy anyway, because he was he's, dead anyway. He's probably he was <laughs> dead. Yeah, it would have been would have been the merciful thing to That's do. That's like punching someone in the dark, or yeah, I, I guess so. So he's um he's our sweaty guy again. This is yep. the same character, yeah. Yep. And we are in East Africa now. Okay. So we retire. This is a bit like the uh, the modern warfare mm. uh, and modern warfare two, I think, mm -hmm. where you you start in you know the the camp. The camp. Yep. Uh, and it, I think it looks great. It does look really good. Some of the character models are a little off in mm -hmm. places, but uh, for the most part, they look pretty good. Okay. 
Flight. But right now, it's, um, as you say, this is all scripted stuff, right? Yep, this part is, and then okay. we'll wander. So it's a mix of cutscene, obviously. Okay. It's a little bit grim. Hey. Man, that's you. That's not me. No, but that was you in the last mission. You had the mask. You, that was the gunner in the last mission. Yeah, I think you're Mash. <laughs> that's a bit like Mash. I think that was Goose. No. I seriously think that was Goose. He's dead now. He's dead now. The important okay. thing is that we're still here. Goose, we're going to go inside. And Goose is Barbie King. Go in here. Okay. We've got... And now this is the sit rep. Yeah, we're going to meet some some ranking officers. Mm -hmm. And this is what I was talking about. You can like look down the hallways, but you can't actually wander down there. So, cool. so what's the point? I think you just get a, another look at mm. life inside. Yeah. So if you want to, you can just stare at the back of his head. Yeah, this is giving me a lot of... A lot of narrative depth. Yes. I think. For for example, I know everyone wears green. Yep. Um, so that's that's a thing. And then we have the obligatory yeah. sexual conflict between lady yeah. officers and male officers. Yeah. But it's okay because it's all taken in good nature. Yeah. And there's the mention of the uh, the SE-130 there mm -hmm. and bombers as well. You'll get to fly mm -hmm. for the first time in uh, Assault Horizon, not Event Horizon. <laughs> Slightly different. They play around, and now we are going to meet some Makarov. Yeah, <laughs> Markov. <laughs> I think it's Markov. Okay. And they don't follow procedure NATO here. You know, we we try and tell them that NATO policy is is uh, a particular way. They're not interested in following policy, and yeah. things. My guess mm. are that they turn a little bit sketchy, mm. and somebody's going to need to get bailed out. Yeah, I, I think I, I don't want to, you know. Tip the narrative's hand here, but I'm I'm tipping Russian ultranationalists. Could what, what well do you think? <laughs> could well be. Think? It would be it would be unheard of in mm -hmm. in, in military themed yeah. games. Well, no, 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 honestly, they become the stock standard. You know, bad guy in a military shooter is a Russian ultranationalist. Yeah. Scenario. Well, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of uh, military game you play, whether yeah. it's a World War Two shooter, it's the Russians yeah, or the yeah, Germans. The Russians are the Germans, and the Russians are, I think, still uh, not so good here. Okay. All right. I mean, we've got a partnership with them. Yeah. We're working, Shaky, we're though. working with Shaky. them, but it's it's, it's a feeble relationship yeah. at best. Shall we uh, shall we try and skip past this cutscene and and go straight to we the, can uh, to skip. the mission? Okay, let's drop out of this, right. and now we get a choice of jet. Mm -hmm. uh, so which one do you like to look of? Well, what do you uh, as uh, well, you, you're playing? You, you're playing obviously. So what, what do you like better? Well, there's there's balanced. Mm -hmm. There's a well, stability is not so good, but mm -hmm. the firepower is. Mm -hmm. Um, the Falcon looks good to me. That was what you were piloting in the first mission, was it? Uh, it may have been. You can actually jump into mm -hmm. the aircraft display. So you can jump into the hangar and rotate it around and take a look. And I think it shows the, the weapon loadout there as well. Okay. No, maybe not. Oh, oh yeah, there you, are. there you are. So okay. You can display it. Mm -hmm. And it's two dudes standing around. Yep. Looking at it. They're guarding it in yep. case anyone comes in and tries to lift it. So let's try. Yeah. We getting. Well, let's go. How about we go for something, a, a, a different plane that we haven't that we've flown let's before? Try. So yeah, let's try the Mirage. The Mirage is yeah. looking pretty slick. Very quick. Not as much defense on this let's one. Let's give though. that so one a go. A little bit so we get our weapon loadout here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, air to ground, long range, air to ground, lock on. Mm -hmm. Or air to ground, uh, air to air. So I'm. So it mm -hmm. tells us the best loadout, but I'm not entirely sure that it tells us what the objective of this mission is. Okay. Uh, which means that it's either dynamic and it will give us content related to the the loadout that we take, mm -hmm. or we could potentially run into a situation where we brought nothing but that's knives to a gunfire. That, that, that's okay. If it's something on the ground, you can just fly in close. Right. That's true. So you're confident of your skills. Right? Let's let's go yeah. air to air. Just okay, in let's case. go air to air. Yep. Okay. We've got our color sorty. Yep. I think we let's start. Let's start this mission, and we'll play. We'll, we'll play through a little bit of this mission. We'll play. Uh, yeah, we'll check this one out, and then I think we'll have to um, have to sign out from there. But we'll, we'll check out this mission um, just to get a little bit more of a feel of how you know how how the combat in this actually works because it is Ace Combat. You know, we've shown a lot of on rail shooting yeah. for a and, flight and game. There is so a lot of that here. The yeah. uh, obviously the the choppers are on rails mm. for the, the gunnery part. The dogfighting mode that's new, that's on rails of sorts so that you can swoop through the city and mm. and shoot at designated targets. Sometimes they'll explode as they yeah. run into things. Mm. Uh, so, oh, here we go. We get to 
take off this time. Okay, take off. And we still have the free look. There's actually a, uh, mm -hmm. a bit of a cinematic here, so this runs for a little while. Should okay. we try and skip ahead on this one? Um, it's, is it the uh, cinematic I'm thinking of, where it is a... Uh, this is actually quite a, a nice cinematic, I think. No, but we'll, we'll watch this oh, one. We'll watch this one. We'll watch this one. We'll watch this one. Oh dear lord, what's happening? It's not looking so great. Desert takeoffs and planes always just make me think of Independence Day. <laughs> There are no crop dusters there. No, no crop dusters. I'm pretty and sure. And this is not Will looking Smith. so great that's at this Will point. That's Will Smith. Will Smith, pull up. Oh no, that's Air Force One. That's probably Harrison Ford Ooh. in there. He's dropping things oh, everywhere. Man, that's not cool. Harrison. Luckily, he's missed everybody that's sitting there waiting. Harrison Ford, no! <laughs> There's a lot of swearing in this There game. is a lot there of swearing. There is a lot of swearing. So somebody shot down a... A, a jet? plane, yeah, a, jet. a commercial airline. Commercial airline. Okay, I think you, need, I think you need to go. But we're going to have to scramble for this one. All right. We will. When we get the prompt, we can start taking off. All right. Now, are you in control here? Uh, I am in control here. Okay. So we got our right. view changes. Okay, and I take I'm it's it's pretty simple to just take off, just yeah. pull back. Right? We're holding down okay. on the right trigger, and mm -hmm. I think once we get to the appropriate amount mm -hmm. of speed, we mm -hmm. will just. Drift into the air. Okay, here you go. Personally, I'm, a, I'm an outside jet kind of guy. Okay, you don't like cockpit view? What's, what, what's not so much. I like to I like to be able to see around. Okay, so we've got yep, missiles, missiles. Watch, watch your six. Watch your six. I learned that from playing horse. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a target lead, okay. which means that we may need to different uh, change our approach up for those guys. Okay. But so right now you're targeting the MiG-21 there on screen, is that right? Yes. Yeah, so okay. what you can do is hit Y and mm -hmm. change your target. And a target lead is essentially what is like a little mini boss. I think it's a, a, it's a little bit, a little bit sorts, tougher. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this guy, get him down. Zip around. But in terms of controls, you're, it, it feels fairly good to you, or...? Yeah, it's it's nice and loose, it doesn't feel yeah. like you're, you're fighting the plane. There is mm. still a lot of uh, skill to... Oh, here we go. Here we go. So we've got... We are killed him, him, and we've got okay. someone from behind as well. All right. uh, it, it feels, you know, it's nice and responsive. The yeah. the planes are actually a real joy to, to fly. We, we haven't talked about defensive measures yet. Do you have chaff? Or do you, you do. You have yeah. chaffs, which you can deploy with the uh, mm. the left thumbstick click. Okay. Uh, and on top of that, there is a cool system where, kind of like the dogfighting mode, if you have a target directly behind you, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Top Gun, mm -hmm. you can... Just hit the brakes and they'll fly right past. Pretty much. Yeah. You uh, you okay. need to line up two different arrows. Mm -hmm. Let's go with this guy. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you can loop back over them. Mm -hmm. So he's And it's, a, and and it's essentially a cinematic mode. mode. And yeah. we zoom back in. Mm -hmm. And... I like the uh, I like that you know because we're in a different plane now and the guns are in a different um, mounting, the the actual angle that you're looking at it from is different as well. That's, it is. That's very good. Yeah. So you can jump, uh, and now missiles, missiles. You need to mm -hmm. get out of the um, the dogfight mode to avoid missiles from memory. Okay. So you don't want to just hang in there all the time. Uh, you want to be oh, we're stalling. Mm -hmm. You want to be right on someone you think you can take down. Okay. I uh, will come after this guy. Did I mention this game looks quite good? No. Yeah, it looks it, quite it good. It does look quite good, though. Yeah. Uh, my concern is that the uh, the ground textures, like in some of the previous games, might not be so up to scratch. Shall we? Um, do you want to get closer to the ground and just have a look? Let's, let's have a Actually, there's not, there's not much you can really do with Earth. If it was buildings, you could probably see you know, a lack of detail a lot clearer. Uh, but we're not going to spend an awful lot of time down here. Yeah. Well, unless you're bad. Yeah, it's not a lot to see. It's, yeah, it's, it's kind okay. of flat and boring. Yeah, it's kind of flat and boring. Uh, as, as the reference video, let's have a, back a look <laughs> over at the base here. So this is where you took off. So that's not, that's not bad. The, the base is okay detail. Kind of flat, square buildings. Yeah. What you'd expect. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully, since there there is combat that will put you close to the ground, like the the chopper, mm -hmm. uh, they've put a bit of detail into it as well. How about you take out this last guy, Dan, and we'll um, we'll, we'll, we'll call, call it a day, day for this um, for this preview right. at um, Ace Combat Assault Horizon. 
Alright. Let's go after this guy. Get him down. There we go. Get him in. There you go, there you go. He's sitting still for you. That's very good. There you go. So, to avoid, you've got to leave the, yeah. um, you've got to leave the, the dog fighting mode. Fight mode right. But, you know, I'm stubborn, so. Mm. You can take it. I'll, I'll, I'll take, take a hit. I'll take my chances. Yeah. You can take it. Oh, we got chaps anyway. There we go. Oh, we're here. Oh, you're hit. We're you're hit. hit. You're hit. You're going down. No, it's okay. okay. It's okay. Like Where's your target lead? Where's your target lead? After this dude, right on your oh, he set off something. And I found that uh, in the little bit of play that I've had, they do really like to chaff. Mm. Down. There we well, go. There you go. All right, so that's a look at Ace Combat Assault Horizon. It's going to be out awfully soon mm -hmm. on the PlayStation 360 and the Xbox, well, and the the Xbox 360. Mm -hmm. uh, and we will have a full review up on Gamespot very soon. And thanks very much, Dan. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Randy.